Hello, it's your Wins Pair. We're back with another video. What are we doing today? So given that this year is an election year for South Africa, mm -hmm. it seems like the rest of Africa has taken a very, very keen interest in what's going to play out over here in South Africa. Really? Yeah. We've got Zimbabweans fighting South Africa about South African politics and on yeah. Twitter. Mm -hmm. But we also got the rest of Africa keen looking who we're going to vote for this year. Of course. So let's just take a look at this clip. Okay. And then you tell me what you think about it. South Africans, I want you people to do the right thing by voting Julius Malema into power because Africa, all of us have our eyes on you. All Africa countries, especially in the Pan-African realm, our eyes are on you to do the right thing by voting Julius Malema because the trend of the revolution that is going on we want to see Julius Malema joining that trend and taking it to the next level because we have trust in Julius Malema. If we outside South Africa can have that so much trust in Julius Malema, I don't know the reason why you South Africans don't have that trust in him. Please don't disappoint us. Currently, you people are in danger. There is a seed of conflict planted in South Africa right now. Those guys in Oriana or whatever you call it, those white guys there who are claiming that they want to be independent, that is a genocide in waiting. That is another Israel and Palestine in waiting. A time is going to come where those guys are going to be given weapon by the West to start fighting you. They are going to call it a defensive act. If you don't vote Julius Malema into power and then through whatever means you people can claim that land, a time is going to come where we will start using our platform shouting, free south africa we are not yet done creating the content of free congo free palestine we are not yet done with i don't have data time to do that so do the needful by voting julius malema our eyes are on you we want to see africa liberated we are waiting to see africa get to the level where we have one parliament one president one voice one policy one rules and regulation one military and julius malema is one voice that is calling for that solidly he is actually calling for that after the manner of Gaddafi, Kwame Nkrumah, and Ku. Please don't let this dream drown in the sea. Do the right thing. Vote him into power. We are counting on you. We want to celebrate the victory of Julius Malema this 2024. We want to see EFF in power. We are tired of seeing Africa being disrespected all over the world. We are waiting for this change and we trust that if Julius Malema comes to power, he will do the needful. So South Africans, do the needful. Currently, Ramaphosa is not talking about the people in Oriana. Ramaphosa is not calling for the reclamation of that land. Only in Julius Malema, you people have that hope. Don't disappoint Africa. Viva! Viva! So what are your thoughts on all of that? No, man. I loved what he's saying. I love what he's saying. And to be honest, like, this is the vision and the picture every Pan-Africanist has in their heart it's like you know when you when you when you when you see when you have a promised land a idea in your head and that you know that that picture is so clear in your heart you know you, you feel it like you feel it in 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 in, in inside of you you know like this there's a burning fire inside of you and this guy is absolutely right on everything he said and to be honest the only issue that's the reason why south africans have such an issue with julius Malema. let's be honest the biggest issue we have is just the whole border situation because in our minds obviously we're like oh south africa we think, oh, South Africa, you know, it's such a gay country. Every African wants to stay here. Yeah, of, of, of course. Because that's, that's it's the case to some degree because, yeah, a lot of other African countries have been going through the most, right? We're also going through the most now. And, like, they have already been on that mindset for a long time of that, let's, you know, let's liberate Africa, not just South Africa. Let's liberate Africa from, you know, the the grip of of european countries and western countries so we can be independent and we can thrive you know on our own and and the the literally the link now the missing link to that dream is south africa and south africa to get on board with that and like now with the yes mm -hmm. yes like we literally are the the missing link from that i do believe that a lot of african that's why 
Julius Malema is getting a lot of attraction, not only from people who want to, who are here in South Africa, they wanted to stay here. No, no, no. There's more people in their countries, respectfully, that like being in their countries, that are rooting for Julius Malema because they see the vision that you know he has in terms of keeping that dream alive of bringing Africa together. So, if we really want that, I feel like right now. Julius Malema is probably the best bet to 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 keep to get that thing moving because honestly on the African stage Julius Malema is the politician the nice thing about all of this actually is that South Africans don't want this so that's why that's why South Africans are not about Julius. like but honestly I feel like we damn to not want it like honestly African i feel like we damn the, the we can't like this this idea that we are okay on our own is really silly like it's south african, really silly. south african were not interested in pan-africanism well south africans as a whole there are there are obviously pan-africanist communities in south africa but the general public is not interested in Pan African. We will cry the day that something, God forbid this, but we'll cry the day something really happens and all the uh, and all these countries gang up on us and we need the rest of Africa to help us. We will cry that day and they will remind us of these of such words that we are. Why must it always get to that? No, because like it, it, that's what it, that's that's what yeah. it goes to. Yeah. So there's, there's multiple ways you can look at this right so from mm. a south african perspective mm. pan-africanism is we don't really care about it and it doesn't really matter to us we just want south africa to prosper before anything else but, the, why don't we see the vision because why don't because, we see the vision because again south africa south africans are thinking about themselves first before anybody else so let's 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 just take a step back mm. let's just take a step back i'm just saying there's multiple ways of looking at this if you if you've noticed mm. the pan-africanism the, the pan-africanism community is mm. very very well vested and interested in what south africa is doing yeah and, because and I, what, like i said they are an, yes. a very important link and, in and, and 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 what and they and obviously they love julius for for everything that he's saying and stuff like that but look at the reverse. South Africans are not interested in what, what Africa is doing. Africans are interested in what South Africa is doing. That should tell you. Because that. Africans are forward thinking clearly. That should tell you that if there's more interest on one side than the other, then that side wants something from this side. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Yeah, what do you mean? To a oh. certain degree, what do you but mean, they oh. want something from all more oh. than it is about that piece. So I'm saying that should tell you that one side wants something from this side and this side doesn't want anything from that side because they're not interested. That's one thing and that's how most South Africans are seeing this. That's why they hate this open border policy. It's because they know and they feel like that if if South Africa opens its borders more more likely than anything else people from outside are going to come to South Africa and very few people from Af from South Africa are going to be leaving to go to other places in Africa you right now are thinking no different right to like white South Africans in respect of like the position where a lot of black South Africans are in like how we made that example like you know poverty is a reality in south africa right and a lot of crimes are committed because people are living in poverty and we can't ignore the fact that poverty is there to many of us africa matters like we are part of africa we are part of africa and what happens in the rest of africa does affect us it really does affect us it's just now we are living in this bubble and this illusion with the we are it, it, we are not touched the reason why we have such an influx of of, of 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 immigrants and foreigners coming into south africa is because of you know the state that other african countries are finding in themselves finding themselves and whose problem is that other than our problem as a whole as africa it is affecting all of us the the you know the migration the current status of our migration in, in africa it's affecting all of us so we can't turn a blind eye we are involved because of that like by default we are involved so for us why, why we're saying we're not seeing the vision if we are actively focused on healing africa a lot of these people 
these people are complaining about being in South Africa will not see the need of coming to South Africa if we if we are actually working together to rebuild Africa and make it because those countries also have minerals and also have a lot of stuff to offer you know there, there's a lot that can be done there as well just like in areas of land that are not developed here and things like that there's a lot that can be done but it's like we need to get to that place of you know firstly seeing each other's evil you see now South Africans are thinking they are better than the rest of Africans and the rest of Africa is trying to fight for we are equal we are equal people we are you are no better than us it's, it's just the situation that we find ourselves in and we can't fault them because a lot of them were fighting for liberation of of Africa of African so the issue with what you're saying again is that you're ignoring sovereignty so I can apply what you just said to a global scale what if Africa prospers and then the rest of the rest of let's say uh, Europe and Asia flock to Africa and mm. they flood to Africa. But the, we have to reapply the principle again. The point see, is that, that the, point. the point is that That's we don't been, want people overly reliant on, on now, another. You see now, 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 you, now you're taking from a continental scale to a global. Now you become a globalist based on what you said. And Pan Africanists well, are well, 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 like what? globalists. They don't. <laughs> we obviously can't be shutting the rest of the world out we are interdependent as countries like we are we need to find a way that we're all just gonna work with each other that's the only way this whole thing is gonna work like that's why resources are not equally distributed it's because we are forced to work with each other whether we like it or not it's just now the problem is we're still scrambling now for for freedom and you know economic emancipation and all of that that uh, we can't we can't look that far and i get it but i do feel like the ultimate goal is for the world to the whole globe to be able to to work with each other and have a healthy relationship yeah well it doesn't make sense to a lot of people that's why people don't care about it so people need to make it make sense and then people get but on board it just seems like i don't know First of all, a lot of a lot of Africans don't even feel like they want. You can't homogenize black into one thing. Black is not one thing. Black of is course. There's many shades of black, many shades of different tribes, many but shades it's still of different black. many shades so of different to that cultures. That extent, it is one. No, there's many there's many shades of. Of course. Many. That's what I'm saying, right? But just so like you can't white, there's 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 different types. Yes, of and they white. acknowledge that one. One of they acknowledge that. Of course. Yeah, so why can't we acknowledge that? Me, I think I was thinking about this and I was like, the only way this is gonna So this one one government, one military, one president, one rule of law will not work unless unless it operates like how like how America is currently doing it. Mm-hmm. America is called the United States. Yes. All these different states have yes. different laws. Yes. Different police. But under one, we do have things that are number. under one. Yes. And then there's the federal government, which yes. rules over everything. Yeah. Okay, that's the only way I can potentially see this kind of working. But there's still a bit of problems there as well. But that's that's one way I can see it working. So when somebody when somebody hears one one law, yeah. one government, one military. Yeah. That means you're homogenizing Africa, and that's never like that's never gonna work. That's what I'm saying. You can't homogenize black because black is not homogenous. Yes. It's not. It's not. It's not one like people are trying to make it out to be. It's mm -hmm. like we are different people, even though we are like all from Africa. Mm -hmm. We still have our different beliefs. Yes. Different cultures. Yes. Different laws and all that kind of stuff. Like Absolutely. That. And we should be trying to cater to all of those because we we cannot. Who's who's gonna who's gonna be the um, the end all be all rule maker. Is it gonna be the Zulus? There's still those realities that we are different and come from different areas. So let's start from there. Let's start from there. That's what that's what that's what turns off a lot of people from Pan Africanism from straight off because it's like you, you people are just painting us under one brush to be like we must all just live under one rule of law and us. I feel like South Africa just hates that they uh, we will lose the privilege of being like oh we're the best and whatever and no, we just whatever. Don't oh now the rand is more than the naira oh this is this, no. this, this. i, I feel you like the nice the, we acting white people on other africans I, I i honestly honestly believe that no we just don't care like i don't like i don't care i don't even know what happens in other countries that's what i'm saying 
so so mind your business that's that's what most South Africans say I don't know what's happening over there I don't I don't tell you who to vote for I don't tell you what to think I don't tell you who to no this is the best interest for all of us you wanna do what you do and let us do what we do let us just mind your business that's it I don't care what you do mind your business and let us do our thing that's what most South Africans think and that's what most people are saying now don't tell us what to do don't tell us who to vote for you're not here you're not here living living where we living over here mm-hmm. the fact that you're even saying you don't even know why south africans are against julius should tell you that you don't know what people are thinking over here in this region mm-hmm. of, in this region of africa yeah good point so just because it's best for everybody that means you 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 you're mm-hmm. basically disregarding what the people in that region are thinking about yeah. this person because it's, be- it's better for you mm-hmm. than for those people there yeah that's the whole thing it's like let sovereign nations mm-hmm. be sovereign let people do what they gotta do mm. but for for a lot of things a lot of South Africans this doesn't make sense and and you have not you've not given any reason for it to make sense to them mm. that's the thing yeah you guys just let us know what you think about this whole situation yeah let us know don't forget to like and subscribe and keep watching goodbye we'll check you guys in the next one I posted a video and I was appealing to South Africans that they should vote Julius Malema because we have... Why don't you worry about your country first before telling us who to vote for? Go and worry about your country first. Where you coming from? You don't tell us who to vote for. You don't even suggest. It's none of your business. These are matters of South Africa. This is the problem that we are having with you guys that come from other African countries. That you've got enough to come and tell us who to vote for or suggest who to vote for. Because Malema is advocating for African unity. Rubbish. Malema is not advocating for African unity. At least we don't want African unity according to the terms and conditions of Malema. No, that's not what we're looking for. An African unity at the expense of South Africans. We will not allow that. First, you, you must go and worry about your country where you're coming from. That is where you should start, at home. Then you can come around when you have fixed things wherever you're coming from, and then we sit down at the table as African countries to discuss African unity as a way forward. Not this one, the African unity, according to the terms and conditions of Malema, which disadvantages, which puts our own people at a disadvantage.